you can get in line um, because many people would like to say something will probably need to be brief but we want to you know, take some time to do that uh, Heath and Andrew Angusser are planning to go to Czech Republic to the funeral and probably a, a, a really nice way that we could as a community even uh, encourage the family is probably to assist them in their travel so if anyone would want to contribute to that why that would be possible too so he start then Kyle then whoever would like to offer a word of thanks to God for the life of Pavel My sophomore year at Northwestern was a great one, living with Pavel. He challenged me to be a man of God. Almost every night we would pray together. And almost every night his prayer was that we would be men of integrity. Pavel taught me how to be a warrior for God. Pavel and I even took a class together, coaching methods with Coach Korver. Pavel loved Coach Korver's passion and all of his little sayings. Pavel also really enjoyed the book we read for that class by Coach John Wooden. Pavel wanted to be a coach someday. Pavel loved football. That's why he came to Northwestern originally. But while he was here, I think he realized that God had other plans for him, even though he did not know what exactly they would be. Pavel did not get to play very much, but I can honestly say that I never heard him complain about playing time. Instead, he applied his energy to getting better and encouraging his teammates. When Pavel found out he had cancer in the spring of 2008, it was hard. After he went back to the Czech Republic to begin treatment, we kept in touch through Skype and email. He was pretty discouraged at first, and here are some of his quotes from early on. April 5th, 2008, I'm trying to trust in the Lord, but man, I don't see how I'm going to grow through this. But who am I to say this or even know a hint of what this plan is? May 13th, 2008. If you can, pray that I stay strong because it is easy to complain about the unfairness of life and hardships. And it is very, very hard to stay positive, especially with all these chemicals in your body and not knowing what God's will is. But you know what is crazy? So many people are praying for me. I'm excited to see the power of prayer. But by the end of February, or by the beginning of February, something had changed. I could hear it in his tone, even though I couldn't hear his voice. February 7th, 2009. I realized that having a strong faith in the fact that God has everything in his hands brings about the peace that everybody talks about. March 16, 2009. I'm just joyful and thankful, man. Every day is a blessing. And then March 20th, 2009. I'm just trying to really imprint those things I have learned into my thinking and myself so I can live them. That was the last time I heard from him. And I wish I could go back and talk to him more, but I'm glad he's in heaven now, and he's experiencing that joy in the, f in the presence of his Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. And I look forward to seeing him again. And I don't know if you know, but uh, the name Pavel in English means Paul, so I think it's appropriate that Paul's words about the end of his life are true of this Paul as well. From 2 Timothy 4, 7, I have fought the good fight, I have finished the race. I have kept the faith. I met Pavel um, in the May of 2003, and the football team was in the Czech Republic uh, on a mission trip. We immediately hit it off. Now, I'll be honest, immediately hitting it off meant Pavel was the only player on the team speaking English. <laughs> he was our translator, um, but over time our relationship grew. And um, obviously Pavel came to campus and was a member of our football team. But to give you an idea of what Pavel was like, 
he knew that his contributions on the football field were going to be limited. That he would probably never step on a field on a Saturday. That any time that he'd play would probably be in a junior varsity game. But he wanted to give of himself. He wanted to have a role on the team. And during the two seasons that Pavel was on our team, every Tuesday and Thursday, Pavel would come to my office before our football team meetings, and we'd just spend time in prayer. That was his role. That was his um, way of contributing and being a part, and probably having the largest part on our team. We'd pray about everything. We'd pray about the team. We'd pray about what was going on on campus. We'd pray about individuals on the team. And we'd pray for each other. And uh, I can't wait to spend more time with Pavel. I know he's in a better place with no pain now. Thanks. Hi. My name is Ainsley Mim Shepherd. I graduated in December of 2007, and I can honestly say that Pav is one of the best friends I will ever have. I was in a couple of those pictures up there, which I'm proud of. Pav helped me um, to figure out who I was after I was diagnosed with multiple sclerosis in 2005, he came and he was um, Ross Hunter and Carl Erickson's roommate that spring semester. And when I first met him, I thought, I wonder if he's slow. <laughs> because when he first got here, he wasn't that confident in his English, but you would never know that he wasn't American by his accent. You had to listen really closely. It was kind of in the way he said my name. Ainsley! Yes, Pavel. I was never able to really pronounce his last name correctly. Apparently you're supposed to mix the J with an R somehow at the beginning. Lindsay's the only one that's ever been able to do it. But the closest I can get to it is Zhezhavik. At the beginning, it sounds kind of like, sort of like I don't know what I'm doing. Pavel loved um, Taco Bell. His favorite TV show was Futurama, and I never really understood why, but I would watch it with him anyway. He didn't like cats, especially mine, and he really loved to tell this story about when he, one time when he was at my house, my parents' house, uh, one of my cats jumped on, in the, on him in the middle of the night, and I've never been able to live that down. In fact, about two weeks ago, uh, his girlfriend sent me a message on Facebook saying that he was telling that story again. Um, to Pavel, Football was a form of worship. I couldn't understand it, but he loved it so much. And it didn't matter if he got to play, just being there in itself was a form of worship for him. He thought that the U.S. culture 